Hello everyone. So today, let us talk about Bitbucket. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about something very simple and uh, useful. Now, in case uh, you have multiple Bitbucket accounts, or in case you have multiple Bitbucket workspaces, then I'm sure you will reach a point where you need to maybe transfer the repositories from one account to another account. And this is something that you can do very easily uh, using uh, Bitbucket. And I, I prefer transferring the repository instead of creating a new one, because when you transfer the repository, you have basically uh, all the information, like you know previous commits and everything. So it's very simple. All you need to do, you first need to go to your target workspace. Now, in case you don't know what a workspace is, workspace is basically, you know, just a very high level grouping to give you a, give you a very simple explanation. And I prefer cre creating workspaces because you can have some permissions on the workspace level. So maybe you want to keep, let, let us say in your organization, or maybe if you're collaborating with someone, you can always create a workspace and then give them access to that particular workspace. So within a workspace, you will have projects and repositories. Very simple concept, right? Now, let us say uh, I want to transfer uh, a repository from my source workspace to this workspace called Spark Swiss Team. Now, each and every workspace in Bitbucket, uh, it has its own uh, ID. And you can figure out by looking at the URL. My workspace ID in this case is uh, Spark Swiss hyphen team. So this is important. This is what you need. Now, you, you can go to your source workspace. Let us say I go to my source workspace. In this case, I'll probably open uh, maybe Sparks, which is uh, in this case empty. So I'll probably find out uh, something else. Let us say I want to look at uh, Sparks Groovy. Why not? And uh, this is also empty. Very good. So uh, I think I've, because I, this is empty because I've transferred the uh, repositories already. So I'm just trying to, oh, okay, let us not worry about uh, the source. Let us say this is the source from where we want to migrate the or transfer the repository. So you can go to the go to the repository and then find your repository, which is in this case, let us say Sparks is or Ravi Sagar iPhone test. So this is one of my repository, which I want to transfer. Now, if I click on this repository, I can then go to the option on top uh, called uh, oh, not on, not on top, but basically go to repository settings. So when you go to repository settings, then then you will go to the option on top called manage repository, and you will find this option called uh, transfer your repository. So when you click on this, you will then be able to type the name of your target repository, uh, not not repository, sorry, the target workspace. So this would be Sparks hyphen what was it team. Right, so this has to be you know that thing that you copied earlier, and that is it. Just click on the transfer, and uh, the workspace owner of Spark Swiss team will get a notification. And uh, when they click on, when they approve it, when they accept it, then the repository will be transferred. Very simple. Now this is of course one thing that you can do. Now the thing that you may want to do is uh, because in, in, when you have a repository, you can take a look at uh, the uh, remote. So there is there is a command. Let us say. Let me show you. Uh, so let us go to my repository. One of my repository, which is uh, this one. Now to understand the 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 old or the because you may have this repository uh, checked out or f from your client, you need to change the remote. So the current remote is this one, which is probably you know the old one, and you need to change it to the new one. And you can do that by simply using this command called git remote set URL origin, and then uh, the new repository URL, which is basically, in, in this case, of course, it has the new workspace ID. Very simple. But once you do this, you can just, as long as that user in that particular client has access to that particular repository, and you can give access to the workspace. So when you go to the workspace, let us go to one of my workspace, which is in this case, uh, my uh, Sparks team, you can then manage your, uh, uh, your uh, configurations, and uh, you can basically uh, configure the 
uh, access. So basically, you can configure the key, and you can also make sure that uh, people who are supposed to access the uh, repositories, all the repositories under that particular workspace, they can. So it is very simple. Uh, let, let me just show you. Let me just uh, show you how you can do that. And uh, this can be definitely useful because uh, you may want to uh, you may want to do this uh, quite regularly. So let me just try to find. Uh, so I'm basically trying to find the uh, repository, the option to change the not the repository but the workspace uh, permissions. So if you go to the one of your repository and if you click on uh, Manage here, you can then find the option for that particular repository. So you can actually uh, configure the SSH keys, and uh, uh, by doing this, all the repositories in this workspace will have. I mean, if you give access to that particular workspace, you are also giving access to all of those repositories in, in a nice, easy way. So this is something that I, uh, because I have plenty of repositories, to be honest, and I have been using Bit, uh, Bitbucket for a long time. And uh, over these years, because earlier I used to do things alone, then I started working with other people, and I have to uh, move things around so this is something that you can always do easily uh, using Bitbucket. I'm sure there is a similar concept in Git GitHub. I, I don't really, I mean, I do have Git rep repositories, but I never really had to transfer the ownership. I'm sure there is a way to do it, but on Bitbucket, it is quite simple and uh, straightforward. All right, that is it. That is it for today. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.